Hello everyone, welcome to your weekly tech update, the show that explores the newest, coolest, and sometimes crazy side of tech available on the interwebs. I am your tech leader, Ray McNeil. Coming up on the program today, the Steam Deck OLED has arrived with an improved screen and a longer battery life. It has been confirmed that a GTA 6 trailer is coming sometime in December. At least, so says Rockstar. And happening in this week's What The? Watch a Remac Nevera set a speed record of 171 miles per hour in reverse. And of course, we'll wrap up the program with this week's Moment of Joy. All that and a whole lot more coming up on today's edition of your Weekly Tech Update, next. If you're a handheld gaming enthusiast and the Switch just doesn't quite do it for you, well, surprise, Valve has just released a new Steam Deck. And double surprise, well, it's already everywhere. If you want to know the ins and outs of it, just do a little Google search and you will find a plethora of reviews, including from our friends over at Engadget, who said it might not look like a big change from the outside, but the Steam Deck OLED is a thorough mid-cycle refresh of a machine that's not even two years old. At the same time, Valve is also adjusting the configuration of its entry-level model, making it a far more compelling option. Apologies to anyone who literally bought the Steam Deck yesterday, but it already feels a bit... Uh, outdated, doesn't it? At an event held for press prior to the device's launch, Greg Coomer, a uh, product designer at Valve, called the new model the definitive version of the Steam Deck. He explained that the device contains many things that the company wanted to include at the uh, LCD model's launch, but wasn't able to, along with some additions based on community feedback as well. As its name suggests, the most notable upgrade to the Steam Deck OLED is its display. The original Steam Deck had a 7-inch 800p LCD running at 60 hertz. The new model squeezes a 7.4-inch OLED screen into that same space, significantly shrinking the bezels around the display. The new panel also runs at the same resolution, but with a refresh rate of up to 90 hertz. It also has HDR covering 110% of the P3 color space, with a peak brightness of a thousand nits. The old model maxed out at about 400 nits. Like all OLED screens, it has pure blacks and near instantaneous response times. As before, anti-glare etched glass is available, but only on the premium model. The Steam Deck OLED has a die-shrunk version of the same custom APU found in the original Steam Deck. The new APU is produced on a 6 nanometer process, rather than the older 7 nanometer. Manufacturers typically use die shrinks to either improve performance or efficiency, and Valve has chosen the latter. The max frequency of both the GPU and CPU are identical between the LCD and OLED models, so for developers tuning their games for the Steam Deck, well, they only have a single performance target to hit. In concert with the more efficient processor, there's also a 25% larger battery with a 50 watt hour capacity compared to the original's 40. According to Valve, these changes combined result in a 30 to 50% increase in longevity between the two generations. The official battery life claim is 3 to 12 hours. However, Engadget measured a playtime increase of 62% when playing on the OLED model versus the 18-month-old original. Batteries do degrade over time, however, which explains why Engadget's gains were more pronounced. The new internals make the Steam Deck OLED marginally lighter, and also cooler to the touch when playing games, aided by a slightly larger fan. Other improvements include support for both Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3, together with a new antenna array that will give a better experience when using both at the same time. There's also a reworked power supply, 
It has a logo now with a longer 2.5 meter cable that will charge the OLED model from 20 to 80 percent in as little as 45 minutes. The thumbsticks also have been made one millimeter taller and the touchpad haptics are slightly sharper as well. You can get the 256 gigabyte Steam Deck LCD for $399, where the 512 Steam Deck OLED is $549, and the one terabyte Steam Deck OLED is now $649. As a result of the changes, the 64 gig LCD Steam Deck will drop to $349, and the uh, 512 gig LCD Steam Deck, previously 649, is going to drop to 499. So they're going to have four different price points to get you into the Steam Deck, at least initially. However, I fear those uh, lower ones will go away quite quick because the OLED is just far, far superior. Finally, there's also a limited edition version of the one terabyte model with a translucent shell and a customized carrying case, which will be sold at $679. I imagine stocks will not last very long, as it definitely looks, quote, rad if you uh, grew up in the 90s. The Steam Deck OLED is available right now. This is interesting and completely flips some of the uh, medical industry on its head. Amazon Prime subscribers now have access to a deeply discounted one medical membership for primary care services. The company announced recently that Prime members can sign up for just $99 a year or $9 per month, a one medical subscription typically costs $199 annually. In addition to the individual plan, Prime members who sign up for one medical can add up to five other people for $6 each. Amazon announced its acquisition of one medical back in 22 and finalized the $3.9 billion deal back in February. When it began offering a temporary discount for One Medical memberships at $144 per year, it's now slashed that even further. One Medical has doctors' offices in major cities across the U.S., all of which will be available to Prime members who sign up. It offers all the basic health services, from annual physicals and maintenance for chronic conditions to same-day sick visits. Visits, One Medical also offers around-the-clock virtual care or telehealth visits or even drop-in lab services. The membership doesn't cover the cost of visits, though. Patients will still have to bill through their insurance or pay out of pocket. Amazon has been pushing heavily into healthcare in recent years with prescription services and even its own video and text based virtual clinics now among the perks of a Prime subscription. The company made its Amazon clinic available to all states in the U.S. over the summer and began offering generic prescriptions for $5 a month with its RX Pass at the beginning of the year. Amazon has also started offering drone deliveries for prescriptions in College Station, Texas. I'll keep you updated on what's going on with Amazon as time moves on. However, it does uh, tell me that they're going to be even more prevalent in the healthcare field in the future. 